Hello everyone, what's up? Well, today's video I'm going to be doing two special requests. Uh, for the first one, from uh, Mademoiselle One. She wanted me to uh, give you an update on Eva, the Salino Cosmine species. Now, the reason why I label it as the family name, because I bought it as pretty much a Salino Cosmine species. We have no idea what this uh, specimen is, uh, what genus it belongs to, and what species it is. I'm thinking it could either be a Salino Cosmina species or it could be a Kilobrachy species. We never know. So I am going to be doing a Mythbuster video on the Kilobrachy species because it's starting to rain outside and when it rains I can't work. But uh, here's this beauty right here. This is Eva. I bought her I think about last year as a five and a half inch female. Uh, this was a special tea from Tarantula Canada because this one, as Amanda told me, she makes uh, false egg sacs. So I had her for about a year under my care and uh, have yet to see an egg sac produced, at least phantom ones. Um, since I received her, she has not molted, so that means it's a mature female. Usually, people ask me how to tell if females are mature. Well, you look at the size of the tea, and if it's roughly one to two inches away from full size or if the molting periods seem really long like my G pole stripes Charlotte uh, she's like five inches and hasn't molted for around oh well, it's over the two year mark that tells you it's a mature female so I am going to water uh, the species here I like I said in my watering video is I keep an open water dish uh, and I miss a substrate. I don't really miss a tank w very much because missing a substrate is a lot better in retaining humidity than just spraying the cage. If you just spray the cage that only holds it for a couple of minutes and then if it's really dry in the house then your efforts were in vain. So uh, She's been featured in many of the feeding videos like I mentioned. I'll show you, give her an idea what kind of temperament she is. Uh, <laughs> these are defensive old worlds. Uh, this species comes from Thailand. Um, Amanda got this from an import from Cobalt Blues, so... It's pretty defensive. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you don't want to mess with her. And hoping she molts, because I really want to see the colors on the species. So right now, the camera is really not picking up very much of this color. It's more of a... Um, dark chocolate brown color but I think when she molts she's going to be pure black so uh, I'll be posting some pictures if she does molt and I'll give you an update video on that alright so that's the Salino Cosmia species Cosmine species I think yeah there's, there's a good video of her so I hope you enjoyed this part now the second tea I want to update Lita has finally molted it's been well over two and a half, three months since Avix, um, since my Avix molted. And uh, like I said, when molts are really long, it's a sign of a mature female or a mature specimen. Uh, so I'm looking at Lita right now. I don't see any tibial hooks on the species right over here. So I think that's why she was not eating in many of the feeding videos, but um, I'm going to get the molt out. Oh wow, she's beautiful. You can just look at that iridescent and blue color from her. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can try to pull up the molt and maybe try to sex it for you guys. So far, it looks to be a sex peck female, just by looking at it. Okay, so what did the molt reveal? So here's uh, Lita's molt. I just used the soap and water technique, and I s uh, separated it with um, shish kebab skewers. And I'm um, being really careful not to split open the abdomen, which you kind of need to sex. So uh, there's the fangs. It's really not important for sexing, but uh, here is the most important part to sex a tree. So, uh, this is its ventral 
abdomen shot. This is where you're supposed to look at. So you can see the book lungs, those little white appendages right over here. There uh, should be two pairs, one pair, two pairs. And if you note that there's a little flap right in between the first and second pair of book lungs. So it's right over here. So this indicates it's a female. If you have a male tarantula, you will never see this flap here. So that's great. And it was uh, actually confirming that and knew all along that she was a female. So this gives you 100% confirmation that it is a mature female. Yeah, mature female because uh, she hasn't molted in quite some time. So to Ixtel, who's been recently commenting on my personal messages, uh, she's worried that your Avic Avic uh, hasn't molted yet and it's about two months. Well, here we go. We have living proof that Avics uh, take a little longer to molt when it's in pre-molt stage. At least they're adult forms. Um, this one took around two and a half to three months. And uh, that's why I haven't really seen her in many of those feeding videos. Uh, she wasn't really hungry. And I noticed the big webbing that she did, so that was a sure sign. Alright, so now we're going to look at my Acanthoscuria brocklehursti for Alan. There's a third tea I'd like to update. Uh, this is for Ike Chin. Uh, he asked me to look at one of his videos to see if his Acanthoscuria genicolata was a female. Well, here is my Acanthoscuria brocklehursti to uh, compare. Uh, this one here is a five and a half inch mature female. And this is the way to tell whether or not your tarantula is a female. This is from ventral sexing. So I'll give you another uh, idea of how to sex teas. So this is kind of a refresher video. So if you can see that little um, slit over here, I'm just pointing to you. It should really be obvious to see. So right over here. This indicates that it's a female. And if you look at a molt, you can be able to see that flap. So if you ever see that, that's a female. And if you have like an upside down U shape, like my Acanthoscuria genicolata, then it's a male. Now, the ventral sexing I just showed you for my Apoca Hursti isn't really a great method to sex uh, slings and juveniles because their sexual organs aren't really fully developed until you know, like the two and a half, three inch mark. Uh, especially, for example, um, my Nandu chromatis, I wasn't able to sex it when it was two and a half inches. It became more pronounced when uh, she freshly molted uh, a couple of months ago when she was a three and a half inch female. So I was able to confirm it. But anyways, uh, I just want to show you this also works for uh, juvenile arboreals such as uh, Pocotheria species. Uh, so over here is my striata, the Mysore ornamental. This is Sora. This one I kind of suspected that this was a male, but you know, after first glance, I can see, you know, the epigastric furrow pronounced on the species over here. So this might indicate that it could be a potential female. You can see the colors are starting to become more pronounced. And if you want to compare this to my other one, uh, this is Darcy. If I can find the guy, he's over here. You can see his colors are starting to drab out. You won't be able to see my male very well, but uh, there he is. Uh, he has no um, slit like this suspect female has. But I can tell from his folio stripe, if you saw what my female looks like, as you can see right over here, it looks much more colored. And if you look at his, yeah, you can see it's much more darker. So, you know what, I think I do have a sex pair of uh, P. striata. Wow, really sweet. And was right. Suspected this was a male, and uh, this is so. And uh, now it looks like this one's female. Cool. I'm happy. Very happy. Alright, back to watering my teas. 
So I hope this uh, video helps you reset your tea and hope you enjoy this um, update section video of uh, the Selino Cosmune species for Mademoiselle 1, uh, my Vicularia Vicularia uh, molt and sex, as well as the Acanthoscuria Bocklehursti and Peace Triad update. So hope you enjoy this awesome video guys and hope you enjoy it.